Hey, Shalom, all praises, all praises, honor, glory go to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to you for all our brothers pushing out this word and truth, sincerity, Shabbat Chanak, just doing a, um, <clears throat> a walk and talk, you know, I woke up, uh, you know, turn on my phone and, uh, well, really, last night, man, I wanted to go and do a couple of videos, you know, but the spirit, you know, has, you know, I went to sleep and all that. But it was just so much going on, you know, and then I woke up this morning, turned on my phone. Because usually I just leave my phone uh, in another room. I just turn it on. I just turn airplane mode on. Just don't even deal with it. Because, you know, you'll be on your phone late night and all that. So I just put it in another room and then. When I wake up in the morning, I turn it on and then I get all the notifications and pretty much, you know, all hell is breaking loose uh, in the earth. You know, all hell is pretty much breaking loose in the earth. Uh, more protests, more riots, more uprisings, more judgments. And as I was, uh, you know, really, I was really excited. Actually, I woke up really excited. Because we're very close. Let me bring out a scripture here. Let me bring out a scripture. I woke up really excited. You know, some days you wake up super vexed. You know, some days, you know, so-so. And there are times where you'll wake up excited. You know? And of course, always, we still praise Yah, Bashamah, Shai, whatever state that we're in. But let me, uh, I want to bring a scripture out. This is uh, Romans 13. And 11 and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe and this this scripture keeps popping off of the book you know because we're suffering here in this wicked ass kingdom and excuse me for all the noise you know I'm in you know a place a lot of business so I'm kind of just walking through about to be by a freeway but, uh, you know, we read this scripture and we're catching all this hell. But the good thing about it is we're a lot closer. We're, we're a lot closer than when, than what people believe, than what brothers believe. You know, and the Most High, he's going, hey, this is the year of hastening the coming of the day of Yah Basham al Shai. And we're, hast we're hastening not only the destruction, but also the salvation. Okay, the Most High is about to raise up his men. Okay, his men are about to get spiritual powers. Right? The scriptures say, uh, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. So that power is going to come to certain individuals of this truth in which it's going to magnify the names of Yah Basham Shai and his men on earth. And the whole world's going to bug the fuck out as well as, you know, Hey, this nigga Esau, he about to lock this shit down again, man. And I, hey, I can't wait. I can't wait to this this second lockdown. And Lord's woman come back today. And the spirit, you know, of course, the spirit allows and do some videos and go and kind of go into some topics, some things that I wanted to go into, you know, especially with this uh, this new variant, as well as the door to door. Certain brothers have already covered it. You know, Lord's woman, I want to touch on that, too. And uh, and Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers out there. And uh, basically, let me read that again. Romans thirteen eleven, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. UFO sightings everywhere, you know, um, protests and uprisings everywhere. You know, I did a video yesterday about. Uh, you know, out there in Haiti, they, they, uh, you know, the president was assassinated. And then I believe it was some, somewhere in South America, you know, all hell is breaking loose in South America, man. You know, and this nigga Esau, he's about to clamp down again. He's about to lock it down. You got uh, inflation, inflation at the grocery store. Hey, man, a lot of things amongst the UFOs, the UAPs. The chariots, a lot of things are happening, man. A lot of things are happening. So I, I want to name this video. So let me see if I can remember what I was 
thinking about uh, the prophecies are definitely taking root. Okay, in the earth, something like that. The prophecies are definitely taking root. And the scripture that I had in mind when I woke up and I was just thinking about, you know, what I wanted to do, you know, as far as videos is concerned today. I'm like, you know what, let me just do something really quick. Let me just turn on the recorder. Um, walk, right now, I'm walking to the park. And let me just do like a little video real quick. But I was thinking about <clears throat> Habakkuk, the second chapter. Let me bring this out. This is Habakkuk 2 and 3 for the for the vision is yet for a point in time. We're in that appointed time. OK, don't don't get it twisted. All right. Do not get it twisted. We are definitely in that appointed time. And the scriptures tell us how the day of the Lord is going to come upon, you know, the unaware as a thief in the night. You know, and us brothers, we're constantly, constantly watching. All right. Because we're the watchers. The most High, he put that spirit on us. OK, he put that spirit of belief on us. All right. So we're a hey, we're watching. We're watching Esau's every move as well as the angels and the most high himself. OK, and his son, you was shy. OK, because we're like, hey, how long? We're like, hey, how how long? man? we want to we want this thing to go down as soon as soon as it goes down. Sooner we get out of here, man, it's paradise. You know, those new bodies, spiritual power. You know, we get we get our families. You know, we get to um, we get to enter into our rest. We get the rest, you know, and we get to, you know, basically uh, pleasures evermore, as the scriptures say. You know, no more of uh, this conflict between brothers. You know, all Israel is going to be good. You know, our nation is going to be perfect. You know, we're going to have all the other nations, the heathen nations under our foot. We're going to uh, uh, execute the righteous judgment of Yah Basham Shai upon Esau, Edom, and the heathens. You know, that a hey, beautiful times, beautiful times are coming. Yeah, remember, before those beautiful times come, all hell has to break loose. And we're pretty much at the tipping point. Okay? If you're, if you're uh, tearing to serve the Lord, your ass better start right now. Okay? You better get in order right now. You better get your house in order right now because it's about to go down. That's the that world. That's the mind. The mindset you gotta have. But hey, that's the mindset the men of the Lord gonna uh, have. Cause hey, when the apostles and all the, the elder brothers that came in prior to even me waking up, right? When you heard about this truth, you thought it was going down like right now. I remember uh, uh, waking up to the truth. Hey man, I believe. Hey, I thought that week, you know, that month, I was like, hey man, we don't have until the rest of the year. Two years. If you told me two, we had two years, and this is years back, I would have cursed you out, right? Which, you know, it's all balance, it's all, you know, it's all understanding, but how much more in a time that we're in now, in this unprecedented time, you know, you got Agenda uh, 2030, you know, you got uh, Event 201, you know, you got the Georgia Guidestones, you got Project Megiddo, you had Jade Helm, you had all these test runs. And then Esau Edom, now he's he's seeing those chariots, so he knows he has a short time. It's too many things, it's too many things going on for things to die down. Okay, there was a little die down after this whole call pandemic, people got comfortable, right? But now it's like everything's just fucking breaking loose right now. You know? Everything's breaking loose. Okay? Let, uh, let me read that again. For the vision is yet for a appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. See? It's speaking. How, oh, man. It, it's, 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 it's jumping off the pages. Okay? The prophecies are taking root. The, the roots, the roots, if it was the prophecies were a tree, the roots are getting deeper and the tree is growing higher. See what I'm saying? More, uh, more fruit are yielding. Because we're at the end. Okay, we're at the end where these things are going to take place. I'm going to bring out another scripture. Give me a second. Let me finish this. It says, uh, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. See? These things are not lying. These things are coming to pass. And if you got your head up your ass, well, you better get it out your ass. 
okay? You better take this serious. The most high about to come down with them heavy judgments. You know, he about to come down with them heavy, heavy judgment. And we just, hey man, we're just praying that we receive mercy. How much more we know the characteristic of the most high, you know, and we're out there actually doing the work and, and, and we're fearful, we're trembling. You know, we're, we're asking the Lord for, uh, for mercy, you know, to extend that mercy out to us. You know, even though we're not perfect, we fall, you know, demons mess with us, you know, the trial of our faith, never the, the, uh, the trial of our faith, nevertheless, we're a, hey, we're scared because the work that most, the most high is about to do, man, it's going to bug a lot of people out. So, so what about, what about, uh, you know, the non-believers, you know, <laughs> shit, what about the non-believers, man? The most high is about to wipe their ass out. Okay, Jake that was playing shit, playing games, talking shit. The most high is about to wipe them out. Okay, that includes your family. Hey, the majority of your family is going to get wiped out by the most high. It's just a matter of time. You know, and, and you got to prepare your mind for that. You got to come into this secret place, right? You got to just cast off all them burdens, man. Hey, whoever drops, drops. You got to keep moving. You got to keep moving forward. You know, we don't have no time to be looking back morning and all that the scriptures say um uh be as those who buy not possess not you know uh those who weep as uh those who weep not right it says though it tarry wait for it so we're waiting patiently waiting okay we're we're hey we're at the cusp and if you don't believe that man you you're not in the spirit right it says because it will surely come, it will not tear. Hey, and when it comes, hey, all we, hey, we, we just gonna be, we just gonna fall back. When that, hey, when the judgment come, when this, hey, this lockdown, we don't. Lord's will, we come into another lockdown. Lord's will, a heavier lockdown. And I even had a vision of the second uh, global lockdown. I was on my, I put it on my page about you're gonna have to start getting tested to come into these certain buildings. Jake is gonna get oh man, Jake is gonna go crazy, man. Jake, Jake, Jake thing is it's a it's a big fucking game. Okay, then the teacher centers is coming. <laughs> you know? Uh Esau's gonna come for certain brothers. It's gonna be a build-up, man. Things are gonna start happening in the earth. Right? Things are already happening. We see this shit. I mean, I mean, clear as day, man. This the stage is being set. The narratives has already been painted. Okay? The narrative has already been painted. The picture's already been painted. This damn devil's about to come in. And he's about to use fear upon the people to, uh, you know, do these things and make these things happen. Which he's not going to be able to scare the elect. Okay? Because our fear is in Yahweh Bashamal Shai. Because he's the one that's actually doing these things. Remember that. When Esau comes in, when these troops come in, when this lockdown comes in. Who who all who all uh, wrote that script? Who all who who put that in, into motion? Who put that into play? Y'all Basham al Shai. Okay, so where should our fear lie? Where should our alliance lie? The Lord said, Don't worry about no fucking food, don't worry about your house, don't worry about no goddamn clothes, don't worry about none of that shit. And that's what we do. We don't worry about it. Cause there's so many uh examples in the scriptures. And, uh, 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 which the, the men of the Lord looked like they were down and out. Looked like there was no salvation in the Most High at the at, at, at the nick of time. The nick of time, he saved he saved uh, his elect. So it's gonna happen uh, likewise now, man. It's, it's nothing new under the sun. Okay, the things written aforetime were written for our learning. But let me bring out this, you know, because hey, this this nick this nigga about to come in. We're about to come into catastrophic time. The whole spirit of the earth is about to change, by the way. Okay? We about to see hella people just dead, drop dead. You know what? Fuck them. That's, how, that's the spirit you got to be in, man. You got to be, fuck these people. You know? You got to walk on a tightrope. If the most high judge their ass, that's just what it is. That hey, It is what it is. You know? We just pray that the most high have mercy upon us, man. That's the difference. We're praying for that mercy, man. And he is going to extend that mercy out to his elect okay it's all about the elect 
to hell with two thirds of Israel. Okay, I was watching the, uh, the elder. Um, uh, what's the elder? I forget his name. Uh, it escapes me, but out there in Mississippi. But uh, pretty much saying, fuck these people, man. And I was like, man, that's the spirit, man. Cause I've been saying that all week, the last couple of weeks, actually. I've been just saying, fuck these people, man. You know, to hell with them. May judgment come down and rain on they on they ass. Cause you can see that these people they worship the beast. Okay, you can see, hey, you can see it, man. Fuck these people. All right. May the most high destroy their ass. That's the spirit that we're in. We want to see this destruction. Cause we can't we can't enter into the kingdom until this destruction comes. Or oh, you guys are hateful, this and that. You you damn right. We hate wickedness. Let's bring this out. Second Ezra nine. We, hey, the men of the Lord are cut from a different cloth. Okay, the most high has molded us. And he's still molding us. The most high has been putting us through that fire. He's been just dipping us in that fire, you know, refining us getting our minds hard putting hell upon us so when this time comes we don't budge we don't break and people are gonna bug the fuck out when they see us and when there's just judgment everywhere and all type of things are happening and we just we just we we just locked in you know we just locked in they're like who is, who is this guy you know well that's just what the scriptures say i shall make a man more precious than fine gold let me bring this out and we'll just kind of uh, wrap it up uh, second Ezra 9 and 1 he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself see and when thou seest part of the signs past which I told thee before right because these words have been spoken to us before okay if you can accept that okay in the reincarnation now we're coming back into our lots uh, reading and understanding uh, the, the the whole matter that Yah Bashim al Shai, he's about to do this great work in the earth. He's about to bring in the devil. He's about to bring in Jacob trouble. He's about to bring in an hour of temptation. Okay, and it's and it's a lot closer than what we believe. All right, these things are actually happening right now. How much more when these so-called catastrophic events happen to where it's gonna give excuse for Esau, Edom, and these different governments to crack down? How about you know millions of people just die, start just dropping dead? You think that's going? You you think that's going to change these people's minds, or, or, or rather, you, you think that's going to put these people in a, in a different spirit, or like these women? <laughs> watch when, watch when all this. Just watch, just watch. Watch when all this judgment start happening. Watch all these women start popping out of nowhere. You gonna see it. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, Yah Basham Shah, he made this world. Okay, and you got the heathen raging, thinking that they're going to um, have a continual city. Their houses are going to continue forever. You know, they got this uh, agenda. You just go on the World Economic Forum. Esau, Edom, he got some shit prepared. Which that's the most high on the left-hand side, man. And it's going to shake up the whole world. It's going to shake up a, 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 a lot. It's going to even shake up a lot of uh, Jake's and the truth. Either for salvation or destruction, one or the other. Okay, that's why you got to be uh, serious about this thing. So we know definitely that the Most High is about to wake up fully, and, and which he's always up. But he's about to wake up and despise the image, as the scriptures say, despise the image of the heathen. Okay? This transhumanist uh, depopulization agenda, okay, where you will own nothing and be happy. Okay? They're going to, you know, put this uh, mark. You, you people, oh, how, they, how, how can they mandate the mark? Well, hey, watch. Shit's about to happen to where... If that's going to be regular talk That's about to be regular talk The karagma Alright Just like these uh, compulsory jabs That's going to be regular talk Okay Therefore When there Shall be seen earthquakes and uproars Of the people <clears throat> In the world This is happening right now Then shall thou well understand That the most high spake of those things From the days that were before thee Even from the beginning For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Okay, this is the end. We ain't going. We not going to be here too much longer. Okay, things about to break out. Okay, but the prophecies are not about to just tarry forever. It's too much going on in the earth for it. Of course, we got to suffer, and there's still going to be certain things we're going to have to suffer. But through that suffering, these signs are going to be strengthening us even more okay which we're already dead set 
in our belief now how much more when the most High really start you know start dealing with us on a high level which he's already dealing with us but how much more when he starts you know sending those angels okay to protect us giving us power okay you know people start you know falling like you know like rain you know on, on each each side and we're and we're protected especially when he shows his power uh uh, uh in us all hey, all bets are off at that point right for like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end and the end is manifest even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs see and we're seeing it we're seeing these powerful works and endings and effects and signs okay these are all tokens okay for us to know for us to get our house in order for us to get serious for us to you know beg the most high to really have mercy upon us do the good works and more powerful works and, and, and signs are going to be shown in the earth to where no nobody's going to deny it nobody's going to be able to deny it and people who do deny it, they're just complete demons and really they're not going to have the understanding of it like the so-called ufos right Th those are uh, uh, for, uh as a curse to these people at to the wicked so they're going to be look at it as you know these things are not for our health but we know that these things are for our health verse 7 and everyone that shall be saved and shall 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 be able to escape by his work see and by his faith because faith and works you know you, you can't really have one without the other now you are going to have certain uh men women and children that are going to be saved at the last uh, uh hour the last second that are just going to believe on the, the the power that's being shown okay we understand that yet you know a, a, a lot of jakes that have woke up to this truth before these thing this thing really starts getting busy you know you you have to have works too to back up your faith you just can't be watching the videos you have to do something okay and the most high gonna scare a lot of jake into subjection a lot of jake's gonna get it when you know when the most high he you know when he really start working <laughs> you're gonna see it we're gonna see it whereby ye have believed shall be preserved see from the said perils uh perilous times are coming really we're kind of like in the, the the calm before the storm of these perilous times this man he's about to bring in his agenda and we've been saying that he's about to lock down his internet okay just think you know uh an emp go off you know a, a terror a, a so-called terrorist attack um the electrical grid went down they they already told you that they already showed you that this shit's gonna happen go on the world economic forum they call it a cyber pandemic so when that goes, hey, when that cyber pandemic, when they shut the internet off, when they um, when they uh, turn the lights off and all the get, when it really gets crazy, hey brothers, just pray to y'all about Shema Shai. That's all we got, you know. And the Most High is going, you know, move us in the right direction. But for the other people, how much more these people bug out when you know there's not toilet paper in in the uh, in, in the stores. When when the when the gas when the you know you have that pipeline that got hacked, you have people filling up water bottles worth of gas gas. When this shit when this shit goes down, man, it's about to be it's about to be crazy, man. It's about to be crazy, okay. And we see this, you know, the most high works on our minds. We see this uh, 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 very vivid and clear. Well, we're reading out of the scriptures, and every day we get closer to the end. Is a day that the scriptures uh, manif manif manifest themselves or take root, uh, you know, cl more clear or deeper. Okay, and shall see my salvation in my land. Okay, those glorious chariots is gonna come and save the elect, and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from me, for me from the beginning. So, hey, the elect, hey, Lord's will we be uh, of that number. Because the elect have been chosen from the beginning, before all the, before any of this happened, before we were born, before all our carnate, our carnations, you know, hey, we 
a Lord's will, we've been chosen to be part of, you know, those who escape these said perils in the earth. Let's read verse nine. It says, then shall they be a pitiful case. See, Jake. We're going to, hey man, Jake's going to be looking pitiful. They're going to be looking hurt. Big hurt, man. Which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Okay, we can read more, but I'm going to kind of close it out there. Hey, the Most High, he's about to torment Jake. Okay, he's really about to mess. He's really about to mess a lot of these people up. He's really about to judge. Let me bring out one more scripture, actually. He's really about to judge the wicked. You know, he, he, the most high is about to judge the wicked. Let me uh, bring out Isaiah really quickly. Isaiah, um, let's go to, I believe it's 13. Isaiah 13 and, yep, and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity right so we've been you know we've heard about Yah Bashamashah we were moved with fear to start doing the works okay and we start enduring these these afflictions these temptations you know getting getting our mind right uh diving deeper into the scriptures okay because he's about to punish the wicked so we don't want to be part of that that punishment the most I about to wake up and just start destroying all type of shit Start putting people in these torments, you know, and then you're going to see the men of the Lord. We just going to be doing better and better. <laughs> OK. And the wicked for their iniquity and I will cause the air to see the proud to cease. Right. This proud world. That shit's about to cease. It's about to be done away with. We're about to see the proud, you know, get confounded. And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Yeah, everybody, everybody's about to get it. Okay. Jake, Esau, the other nations. You know what I mean? So, hey. Beautiful time. Beautiful time. We, we you know, we're very close. We you know, keep keep enduring. He that endure until the end, the same shall be uh, saved. Okay. So, we just got to have patience all the way into the end. And uh, just endure the things that are coming. No, no matter how long it takes for us to get out of here, we know that we're going to get out of here. OK, Lord's will, we be part of, uh, of the first fruit. So, you know, I just wanted to kind of go into that really quickly. I'm going to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh. Until next time, shalom to the elect.